location throughout the country, creating appeal for lesser known attractions. Last year, over 35 million people visited Thailand and the country posted 7 to 9 percent annual growth in the tourism sector. This year, the country expects to welcome up to 37 million tourists. Leaving the kingdom, Commons Incorporated, a multi-billion dollar company headquartered in the United States, is calling for an end to rising tariffs, saying they'll be forced to lay off workers if trade disputes continue. A Commons Incorporated factory in Timor, Indiana, assembles huge engines with a laborious and intricate process. Eight of the ten engines that, produce, that are produced in this factory are exported. However, following the Trump administration's decision to impose tariffs on imports from multiple nations, those countries impose tariffs back as well, and companies like Cummins find themselves bearing the brunt of the trade dispute. Its director, John Mills, said its ability to trade is critical to its success. The tariffs on steel and aluminum imports into the U.S. have also raised costs. Although most of the company's factories are located in the U.S., Cummins also has operations in places like India, Europe and China. As each production line is specialized, it is both difficult and costly to change the production flow and the supply chain. Given their international footprint, Cummins says they are well positioned to manage the short-term impact of these various tariffs. However, Mills said the consequences could be more significant in the long term. We've had teams really looking at uh, mitigation plans for a while now, so there's a range of options being considered. You know, the longer it drags on, the, the longer the uncertainty is, and it does, you know, to some degree stall out on, you know, how you begin to think about investment and, and growth. So we want to get, again, get back to negotiating table. Unilateral tariffs are not the way to, to achieve the goal. They really end up hurting, you know, workers and farmers and, and businesses. Funds run by BlackRock Inc. have voted over Tesla Inc.'s objections in favor of a shareholder proposal in June that would